Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 2nd, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to another update video here, as we have something brewing here which we have not experienced in our lifetime. Having a look here, this is our sulfur emissions forecast for the next few days as we had that large eruption at Mauna Loa ongoing since the 28th, slowly creeping down the northeast rift. And look at the sulfur emissions that have come out from this large volcanic eruption already encompassing the northern hemisphere. So what's going on here, folks? We have some big changes that have been happening, especially over the past couple of weeks. But over the past five to ten years, we've seen things dramatically increase in a way like we've never even thought. Last January, we had one of the largest volcanic eruptions ever recorded on the planet when the Hunga Tonga blew up. And we had the same kind of thing here, large sulfuric emissions, of course, coming out of the volcano and encompassing the southern hemisphere. That's right, Australia was affected by all of the sulfur emissions from Hunga Tonga. Now that erupted last January. So January 2021, Hunga Tonga, with the size of 10 nuclear, 10 times a nuclear bomb, exploded in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Towards the Fiji Islands, Hunga Tonga, completely obliterated. This is what Hunga Tonga looked like before the eruption. This was the satellite imagery showing that large pyroclastic cloud reaching the ionosphere. Now, I've never seen anything like that in our time. And a lot of scientists, geophysicists, confirm this is and was the largest eruption ever recorded on our planet. Now, what could be happening? Well, folks, I've been talking about it for years. The Grand Solar Minimum and all of these changes coming with the changes of our magnetic field brought to you by our sun. This is a look at what Hunga Tonga looked like before it blew. There was a huge crater lake inside there. So when it blew inside, it was a massive eruption. Like something we have never seen before. Lightning strikes in the thousands. And then another eruption shortly thereafter. Explosion. This is all satellite imagery from the Hunga Tonga explosion. And right now we have 50 erupting volcanoes across the planet. We've seen a dramatic increase. Our average is about 25 to 35. Now have a look here. This was back in January of 2021, showing the sulfur emission maps. Large volcanic plume stretching across the southern hemisphere. And now we've seen Australia with the most devastating rains and flooding conditions that they've ever seen. And now just yesterday, I reported that we have action at Topo, Lake Topo volcano in New Zealand, showing signs of activity, lots of earthquakes inside the lake. But if anything, it's going to rupture here. The volcanic field just south of the lake. But we have an active and erupting 50 volcanoes across the planet. And Topo is a super volcano. One of four that are on our planet. I wanted to show you what Hunga Tonga looks like now after that huge eruption. As I said, it was obliterated. And now the ocean floor is showing a huge concave. But first, let's have a look at Mauna Loa. This was Google view of Mauna Loa before the eruption. So this caldera filled up, overflowed its banks, moving northeastward, opening up weak fissures along the line.
So the Grand Solar Minimum, brought to you by our sun during its solar cycle 25, definitely causing a lot of changes on our planet. That's what Hunga Tonga looks like now. There is nothing left. But new images are being mapped already as there is a huge concave caldera on the ocean floor now as it is probably still erupting. So we have an active and erupting 50 volcanoes around the world but literally there are over 120 that are showing signs of unrest including active and erupting. Have a look here at the Atlantic Ocean. This is where I do believe we're going to see some great changes in the future. The Atlantic Rift. Great changes could be felt worldwide if something happened here. And then we've got Southern Hemisphere, tip of South America and Antarctica. Huge subduction zone. This is where the Michael Volcano is. This is where I do believe our next impact will be. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you for tonight's video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, Thank you.